this fall. The camp is a Cabrini University celebrated Green Week and hope to make its already beautiful campus even more beautiful. So Green Week started last year as a way to commemorate the Feast of St. Francis. St. Francis is the Catholic patron saint of the environment and animals and peace. Uh, and we saw a bunch of activities going on on campus that seemed to coalesce around that purpose. Uh, there's the uh, Campus Beautification Day that's run out of the President's office. There was a speaker coming to talk about the importance of clean water. Um, and we had the Feast of St. Francis. So we had a St. Francis Day Mass that week. We threw together this uh, uh, series of events through the week uh, that we already talked about. And we asked people to sign the St. Francis Pledge. Um, we also brought some animals on campus, uh, had some other activities. And last year, that was actually uh, when there was a threat. There was a threat of a terrorist strike in the Philadelphia area. So it was kind of an odd combination of people expressing their faith and their hopes for the environment um, at a time when faith itself was kind of coming under fire. Or this year, we changed around to make it more about the memory of David Dunbar, who passed away last year, at the end of last year. Monday there was a mass for him, uh, said in his honor, Monday night. Uh, Wednesday there was a, the campus beautification day, and then following that there was the mass for St. Francis. Um, we had some chickens and some dogs that got blessed at that mass. That's a traditional thing to do. And then uh, we had the signing of the pledge um, later that day. And uh, we did a hashtag Where's Francis uh, scavenger hunt the next day, that Thursday. Uh, that brought people to different uh, environmentally friendly features of the Cabrini campus. So the involvement that I had in Green Week this year was we began the week with a mass in memory of Dr. David Dunbar. So we coordinated that. The second piece was on Wednesday at the 1230 mass, we did the blessing of animals. So we helped coordinate that as well. Green Week was a lot of fun. I saw a lot of students get involved with it, which was very exciting. Um, me personally, I uh, participated in the Wolfington Center's scavenger hunt that they did, um, and I was able to win myself a little succulent plant that I have sitting on my windowsill. Um, and also, I was a part of the Mass for the Blessing of Animals in honor of St. Francis. Although he passed in the summer, Dr. Dunbar's memory still remains on Cabrini's campus. He was one of the most active people supporting research into the environment on campus. And uh, I know he touched a lot of people's lives. So we thought this was a good way to, um, to honor his memory and to bring more attention to the things that he cared about. Um, it was very fitting that Dr. Dunbar was um, selected to represent Green Week this year because he was um, a huge advocate of all things green and all things good for the environment. Uh, he developed courses that focused on improving watersheds, in, improving uh, life um, in different creeks for different fish and different species. Um, he dedicated himself to living a green life, and I think it was very fitting um, to be chosen um, to be representing Green Week this year. He was one of our biggest researchers. He was in charge of one of the largest grants that Cabrini's ever gotten. Um, for scholarship, uh, but he wasn't somebody who sought out the limelight. And he was very humble in the way that he presented his own experiences and insights for the benefit of everybody else there. The turnout for the mass for Dr. Dunbar was very significant. It was just a really wonderful opportunity for people to remember Dr. Dunbar and the work that he had done in the community on behalf of the environment. So it was a wonderful way to bring it all together.